Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to cut a rusted toilet bowl seat in less than five minutes. So the reason why you're probably watching this video, you tried everything, exhausted yourself, and you have a toilet that looks like this. And if you're a person like me, you probably tried to do this yourself. You didn't call a plumber, you seen that it was easy to do, but you came into a humongous problem. The bolts were rusted, right? So what would you do first? What type of tools do you use? So let me show you exactly what I so use. The first tool I ended up using was a screwdriver. And of course, that didn't work either. Plus, if you're doing it by yourself, you have to have two hands, correct? And the screwdriver was used to hold the top of the bolt. Let me show you exactly what else I used. So the second tool I used was a pliers. And the pliers was used to hold the bottom of the bolt. So the next thing I used was some rust removal. This is um, similar to WD-40 that you get in your local hardware store or even in the supermarket. Even tried using a drill, which I do not recommend. So I tried to use the Phillips head screwdriver at the top and then also use the pliers to hold it in place and um, turn it. But as you can see, no matter what I did, it, it just wouldn't move. Even applying the rust remover, it, it just didn't help at all. So I, you know, I thought about it. I was like, hey, look, you know what? The fastest way to get this off is probably to get the bolt off at the bottom. And how I was going to do that, it definitely wasn't going to be using a drill. So I had to use evasive action. Check this out. And you haven't seen one of these? It's, this is called the grinder. You can get one from Home Depot, Lowe's. You can actually rent this if you don't want to buy it. For any of this stuff, I'll put a link in the description below where you can purchase any of these items. So the purpose of using the grinder is to make it a lot more easier to cut the bolt. And if, if you do it the right way, you can cut straight through the bolt or you can actually cut through the plastic that's holding the bolt from the bottom side. And once you do, do that, you actually free up this bolt from the toilet. Now, if you use a grinder, it's easy because you can remove the plastic part that's underneath the toilet that holds it. And from there, you wouldn't have to cut the bolt directly, but you, you get my drift, right? So now that we're done with the hard part, here comes the easy thing, installing a new toilet seat. This is a toilet seat that I actually got from Amazon. It came in less than 24 hours and it was less than $10. I was surprised by that. Also, the good part about it is it comes with instructions on the side and even the bolts that's on it is plastic, so you'll never have a problem with rusting. So I definitely recommend you buying this product right here. So now after that, you wanna install the new one. And the good thing about these are it's, all, it's plastic, so it won't rust over. Okay, so now you wanna take the bolts out of the bag and you wanna make sure that you have the top of the bolt, the one that shows uh, the Phillips screwdriver side and the bottom bolt and you wanna screw this on and fasten it with your hands as tight as possible before using your Phillips screwdriver and also your pliers. So of course you're gonna do the same thing on the other side as well. do is install your toilet seat so depending on which one you bought this one is an easy install pretty much plug and play right okay so there you have it new toilet seat fastened down and ready to go you did it yourself aren't you happy so that's all I have on this topic right here. Thanks again for tuning in. Like, subscribe to my channel. Also comment below. Let me know if you actually tried this method or something a little bit different. Thanks again.